And welcome back. To many people, poetry is something that is read on a page and then thought about. But poetry can have a whole new meaning when it's heard aloud. Spoken word is an art based on words and performed for an audience. And how the words are said can make a big difference in its meaning. To help us understand more is Cedric Hamid. All right, welcome, Cedric. Um, how do you explain spoken word to people that haven't actually experienced it? Uh, really quite simply, um, spoken word to me is just the expression about anything. Um, and really just the courage to be able to appreciate and use your own voice as you see fit. Mm, that makes mm -hmm. sense. Well, how did you get into this in Sarasota? Uh, that's a great question, because it's not as graceful as uh, people <laughs> might anticipate. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll take a long story and I'll make it short. So I was staying with my brother in the Bronx uh, right out of college. Mm -hmm. um, he was working with a group of young adults um, and adults, and he was like, you need to do poetry with them. I said, no. And then he said, if you don't, you're going to pay this much in rent. And I said, where's the group at? <laughs> So that's, that's as glamorous as it gets. Now, why did he hit you up for poetry? Did you grow up avidly consuming it? That, see, that's the better question because he didn't even know I did it. Um, the only one who knew was my wife, uh, who I used to write poetry to all the time. Aww. And Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, when I first had to perform, that wasn't glamorous either. Uh, because <laughs> I, I threw up twice, uh, yeah. <laughs> forgot the poem that I was going to write at, at the house, and my wife is like, it's in you, you just need to go and do this thing. So it's like a fight or flight moment of, you know, either retreat or try to dare myself to do something I've not done before. And you dared yourself. Nice. Look yes. at that. Very so tell nice. me about how you've worked with Visible Men Academy, because I'm assuming you are helping them find that same strength. Yeah, which is um, tremendous because I get a chance to flow in through everything I do in life. So I started out in the Bronx as uh, working out with uh, young adults um, doing workshops. And then as I ran into uh, Neil and Shannon, who are both the co-founders of, of the school. Um, they heard about what I was doing locally with the high schools, doing poetry slams, um, and using expression as a medium to find themselves. And they described the school where the parents and the students were the forefront of the change that we need in our communities. And it was right up the alley of how I grew up. You well, know, so I it's just tremendous. It. I love the idea, and I would love to hear an example. Can you give us some of your spoken words? Yeah, ladies, I'm going to put you on the spot, too. Oh, okay. uh -oh. So again. We're right. going to reenact that time I threw up twice without the vomit. So uh -oh. Uh -oh. what we're going to do is um, you ladies are going to give me uh, a word, four words, and I'm going to create a poem off of what you guys give me. How about that? Okay. Sure. Okay. All right, I'll go wet. Love. <laughs> Hate. Peace. Okay, you said we, you said we wet. That's kind of weird. She <laughs> said wet. Said I'm gonna wet. Love, hate, and peace. I got. Recreate I'm, I'm gonna the time I threw up. We're gonna use I threw that. Up though. Is wet. We're gonna use that. Though. Yes. I got you. So <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Did I miss the instructions? No, no, no. There was no instructions. You did he it right. Yes, you're wet. fine. Oh, I see what you're saying. You thought he was saying re we're going to recreate. He's gonna write a poem about that moment. Thank you. Oh, got it. He just said, give us some words. That, that oh, is, that God. Was I'm very literal. I'm no, very back. They will teach you about that later. That's okay. Yeah, I'll let them. I'll let them give you. I'm usually this. missing it anyway. <laughs> but wet love, hate, and peace, right? Okay. Okay. So as we think about what it takes to be a dreamer and the hard obstacles that arise every time that you get up and you feel like you could do something and you can achieve your life's dream, there's always a gray cloud that always rains down and you always seem wet with regret. But if it wasn't for the love that you had to push you past the hate, to bring you some sort of inner peace, then you might actually succumb to these emotions that are telling you that you can't, that you won't, and that you shouldn't. But once that cloud leaves, the other side is always a silver lining, and the sun shines brightest when you least expect it. Oh, he gave me tears! Yeah. I've got <laughs> tears in my eyes. Oh. That's like the greatest improv art I have ever oh, witnessed. Because it's not just improv. It's, it's so awesome. That was awesome. Yes. All right, wow. well, thank you. And no, thank no you for problem. your work with Visible Men Academy. No problem. And you guys can get more information about the school. You can visit their website. And next.